Hey everybody, this is Sheena with uh, Storm Blessed Games, and tonight I am doing my first solo video. Scott's sitting here net with me, but uh, this is my video. <laughs> anyway, so um, I want to show you guys what we do when we ship singles out to people. Um, we have a limit of how much we can do it like this. Um, so if you order like 400 cards, obviously we're not going to be sh shipping um, cards to you in this format. But generally, um, this is the best way we have found to ship cards and they, they get to people safely. We've got a lot of five-star reviews on TCG Player, um, just about how quick we're able to get the, the orders out. Um, whenever you place an order with us, we do our best to fill it that day, whenever possible. Um, obviously, if I'm making dinner, it's not gonna happen. But, <laughs> so we just start out with, um, we start with the packing slip. When we get the packing slip, uh, Scott prints them up um, on the printer for me and I just grab them throughout the day whenever I can. And I literally pick them and then he checks them because we want to we want to send out the best cards that are uh, properly, um, the, that are the correct, the correct card in the correct uh, gr uh, grade that we say. So, you know we're we're not perfect so there's been a couple times where we've sent out we've pulled a card and it was lightly played or even you know moderately played and we had accidentally marked it as near mint and and i mean it happens very very rarely but you know we're human so it happens and in that case we we just double check every card that we send out before we do um and whenever we do find that we always make it right with the with the customers but so we start out with the packing slip and then i write a personal handwritten message obviously we've blackened out the names of the customers and the order number because you know um joe schmo here probably doesn't want his address posted online <laughs> so um i just i like to use purple or pink ink so if you've received an order from us a uh, majority of our orders are done in, in these colors. So, um, your order. Um, and I'm, I overuse exclamation marks. I get like easily excited. And so everything I write usually has like three, even in my text messages. Um, you can also find us on YouTube at Storm Blessed Games. So I don't have the best of handwriting, but it's not chicken scratch. But again, this is just a little something we like to do just for personalization and just so that everybody knows we how much um, how much dedication we put into every single order. And then we finish everything off with be blessed because that is our desire for every one of our customers is that they are blessed. Um, so after we get this done, then I will go and pick the cards. And so we have the five cards that are requested and then I'll set them aside for Scott and he goes through and he checks them. And like I said, he makes sure that the, that they're actually the right cards, that the numbers actually correspond to the numbers on on the sheet that the name is right and he he checks over um the mint and he's already done this so i don't need to sit here with you and and go over each one so and then we put them into penny sleeves because we want the cards to be protected um we can usually get up, up upwards of about four cards into a penny sleeve easily um without you know cramming them in occasionally we'll put five into a single penny sleeve but um it's it's rare we we, pref we much prefer you know the the lesser amount and then also we, we what we have done, been doing recently um is we've been using this this thing and it's called a, a shipping shield and this is like one of our most favorite shipping tools <laughs> by far i mean it's super duper simple it, it's really really simplified but using this has reduced the sheer amount of tape that we've had to do the cost is so much cheaper than using um those other what, what are the sleeves called 
the top loaders. The top loaders using the top the loaders. Semi-rigid. Yeah, so we were using the semi rigid rigid top loaders, and then we were putting it on comic um, co- the comic co- Board. uh, comic boards. We were cutting. We were having to like cut the comic boards down, and then we were taping it, and and it was just it was a long drawn out process. And I mean this this has just reduced the sheer amount of time that we are doing the singles and. Um, And then, yeah, so Scott usually does this part. Just, okay, there we go. And then what we do is we, I'm not going to, I don't have any tape right now, but he's a, Fitbit is telling me it's almost time for bed. (laughs) So we just take a little bit of tape and it doesn't really need to be much. And we just tape that. And I love this because there is no risk of ever getting tape on the cards. Um, before, one of the ways that we were combating that was to put, um, to tape the, the shields together or the, the comic uh, boards on either side of the top loader and then put a piece of, of paper and then tape the paper down. And it, like I said, it just used an awful amount of tape. And then... <clears throat> We just use a plain white envelope, and Scott has informed me that it's a, also known as a PWE. Um, but I'm not cool like that. So then it's just a simple threefold. And then I like to just tape this down because when it's in the mail, we don't want it being jostled around because when it gets jostled, there's a, definitely a larger um, risk of it being damaged. Oh, oops. And I mean, Scott is super duper crazy, so he'll use like a centimeter of tape and make it work, but I'm, I'm usually trying to be fast. So then we have an envelope with our uh, logo on it. And I simply just stuff it in. Well, I say simply, but it's not simple right now, but it normally is not this difficult. It's, and then I, I just, I take this, this off put it down and then I also put a, a little extra piece of tape here um, and that just helps to keep it down and keep it attached and just to give it a little bit more security that is actually going to maintain um, integrity when it's being shipped because you know and we try to keep things you know from uh, flexible so it can go through the machines whenever possible and um, and we do have what are those big envelopes called Catalog envelopes. We so we can fit in one of these envelopes. We can fit about twelve cards. Um, once we get above twelve and upwards of, I think we talked about it being thirty six. Um, we can go to the the from thirteen to thirty six. We can go to the catalog envelopes, and they're just the big gigantic envelopes. And we again, we just use the shipping seal um, shield, and we just divide it out. And it's reduced the cost of shipping for us, so we've been able to pass that on to you guys because when we first started, we were using bubble mailers for everything. Even when somebody was purchasing you know, a one single five cent card, we were sending it out uh, via bubble mailer with tracking, and it was $4. And it just, you know, I mean, who wants to pay $4 for a five cent card? So we've, Scott has figured out, figured this out and we've played around with it for a while. Um, and this has been the quickest and easiest way for us to get this, these things um, out to you. And because it's quicker and easier, we can get them out sooner. Um, and so we just, uh, we just hope that you really enjoy receiving our, our orders um, and that they do come in all the, the conditions that we promise. Um, yeah, I think that's probably all that you really want to know about uh, about this. Probably more than what you want to know. But I just figured it would be a good video for you guys to see what we do. So um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And I hope you, you're you blessed. Be blessed. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Be blessed.